all right everybody welcome to your 31st google chrome extension development tutorial in which we'll be continuing with and ending our chrome.desktop capture api series and this time there was a delay of around like one and a half month because i was just engaged with different stuff i was busy with my exams i crashed my pc twice upgraded to 10 removed linux and did a hell lot of stuff with that so here you can see that it's windows 10 it's nice and easy to use so i pretty much like it the cortana is easy to use it's friendly it's fast and you know here you go a free review about windows 10 so if you're not yet upgraded to 10 then i'll recommend you to switch to 10 it's fast and easy to operate well if you wanted to know that here you go if you didn't then sorry for wasting your time now let's get started with real stuff we were doing so i did some research on the stuff we were in the last tutorial and i found out that um, there's a problem with this so chrome by default doesn't have any api to encode the stream we are receiving into a video file so technically by just api support you could not actually save the video which you are recording and i'll just show you what i mean by that so i'll just console log the stream itself when the video is ended okay so let's reload this extension and i'll just launch it so let's click on start let's say select any one of the screen let's say I select this page and I click on share so you see that okay I don't know what just happened but I don't really care <laughs> let's do this again and let's go with this so share stop sharing and in the console you see three messages receiving data from user which appeared when we started the recording video recording session ended when I clicked on the stop sharing and here's the console log of media stream now this media stream is the stream which has our video recorded in binary now by default JavaScript and I mean Chrome doesn't have any particular API to convert this media stream the string in 101101 and all that stuff into a perfect video file you can say like my video dot mp4 so you can simply do that in chrome without any heavy javascript support and all that things so we have a handful of options here either we can send this media stream to server and then on the server the back end we would use php and would convert this media stream into a video file and would send back to the client but this would take some time and coding but the second option is even more tedious you can say in the second option we would be using a client-side javascript to do browser encoding and decoding which is fast but it would require a hell lot of coding so I'm sorry guys this would be out of scope of this series so if you ever want to uh, develop such an extension then when you are up to this point then go ahead and check my description I'll leave some of the github uh, links to help you guys with to proceed onwards from this point because after this point the complexity level would be far beyond the reach of chrome extension and we would be actually dealing with binary files and encoding decoding because that's not what i meant to teach you guys in this tutorial so that was a quick introduction why i'm ending my chrome desktop api tutorials right here and from the next tutorial onwards we'll be starting something more interesting and more relevant which we could actually implement in the real life scenarios and could launch on the play store Whoa, my bad could launch on the web store as well 
so that's it for this tutorial stay tuned with me and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you then next time goodbye and take care